Hello, this is Juan with Nick's TV Repair, and today we'll be working on an RX 580 graphics card that is displaying these issues. As you can tell, there's a uh, there's like a distortion on the screen that's checkered, and sometimes you might experience lines or random blackouts, dropouts, and that's caused by this issue here, the RAM brick. Um, what happens is that traces end up getting ripped, more than likely from pressure on the PCI Express slot and just the card sagging and that'll cause this issue. So anyway, without further ado, let's see how we perform this repair. And as you can see, we have a few damaged traces after removal of the RAM brick. And now we will proceed to rebuilding all of these traces. Some of them do look pretty bad, but it's nothing we can't handle. All right, so I'm gonna begin by adding a little bit of flux to the damaged trace area. And then after this, I'm going to select a trace that'll fit in this area just right. So here you are. Just going to pull out one of these and place it on the damaged trace area. And that's what we'll use to rebuild this thing. All right, so you're going to want to start out by positioning the trace just how you want it. That way we can solder this thing on the proper way. Sometimes it might take a little finagling, but uh, for the most part, you should be able to get it on there perfectly. And then once you do, I like to apply solder, maybe a little bit of flux, and that'll do it. All right, so after we've soldered the trace on, we're gonna spray a little bit of alcohol and that'll give us a better view of the area. And as you can tell, it's looking pretty good. And then we can move on to the rest of the traces. I just want to add that it definitely pays to have a good pair of tweezers, the ones that are not messed up. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when I first recorded this video, I was using some really bent tweezers and now I have switched over to some pretty good ones. So you definitely need a good pair of tweezers if you're going to try and grab these little tiny traces and position them correctly. I would advise using flux so that you have something to tack the trace down with. It will also make it easier to position it and so it doesn't fly away on you.
All right, now that we finished replacing the last trace, which was kind of tough, uh, we're gonna go ahead and reattach this chip and run the graphics card. The card is now powering on and the distortion has gone away. The card is fully repaired.